Hi, in this video we're going to look at credential stuffing, a form of brute force attack in which you attempt to log into a website using known username and password combinations from other websites. These sets of credentials are usually collated from earlier data breaches. These attacks rely on the fact users often reuse the same credentials across multiple different sites. As you're only attempting to access each account once, Defence mechanisms such as account locking are effectively powerless against this kind of attack, although you may find that you still need to bypass any rate limiting that's in place. For ideas on this, you can check out the authentication topic on our Web Security Academy. Before you start, you'll need a list of username and password pairs. If you're following along using the Excessive Trust in Client-Side Controls lab from our Web Security Academy, we've included correctly sorted word lists in this article. Once the lab has launched, try to log in. From the Proxy HTTP History tab, identify the request for submitting the login form, right-click and send it to Burp Intruder. Go to the Intruder Positions tab and select the Pitchfork Attack Type. Highlight the username and click on Add to mark it as a payload position and then do the same for the password. Go to the Payloads tab, and under Payload Sets, select Payload Set 1, Payload Type Simple List. Now paste in the list of usernames. Then select Payload Set 2, again Simple List, and paste in the list of passwords. Click Start Attack. When the attack is finished, Study the responses to look for any behaviour that may indicate a valid login. Potentially differences in error messages, response times or status codes. In this case, we can see one of the requests has received a 302 response. If you want to investigate the contents of a response in detail, you can right-click and select Send to Comparer Response and do the same for the original response. On the Comparer tab, you can then select the two responses and click Words or Bytes to highlight any differences. 